The ability to move around in a view is critical when we're modeling and documenting our designs. The first item we can leverage to be able to move around inside of a view is actually the wheel on our mouse. To do this, all you have to do is click inside of a view, then move your wheel either forwards or back, and you'll see that the whole screen will sort of zoom in or zoom out. Now, where it zooms in or zooms out from is wherever your arrow is pointed at. So if I would point my arrow over in this direction, and then spin the little wheel on the mouse, it'll automatically zoom in there. If I then decide to, all right, I want to zoom out, you can just pull back on the wheel, rotate it, and you can see how it zooms you out. Now, another thing that wheel can do is if you hold down the wheel, you'll get these four little arrows, which look an awful lot like the move command inside of Revit. Well, it doesn't actually move anything, but what it does do is it allows you to move around on the screen this view. So if you want to be able to zoom in and then see something over here in this corner, all you have to do is just hold the wheel down and just move your mouse while you're holding the wheel down and you can pan over in the direction that you need to be able to see. Another thing to know is that you can also type in the letter Z and then either E or W. In this case, I'm going to do E. ZE is going to allow you to zoom extents, which allows you to just sort of zoom your extents out. So by typing in a command, it also will allow you to do your different kinds of zooms. Now, when we're talking about different kinds of zooms, we can find some of those over on this little bar over here on the side. In fact, if we click on the little down arrow that shows up right here, we can see that there's what's called a zoom region. There's a zoom out. And if you decide to click on zoom out, It'll zoom you as far out as what they think is something in the Revit model. If we clicked Zoom Region, we could left-click once, hold the mouse button down, and just kind of draw a box around where we wanted to zoom in at. And then when we let go, it would automatically zoom in there. That's like Zoom Window in AutoCAD if you've used AutoCAD in the past. Also, we can come in here, and you can see that there's other options as well, including Zoom Fit, Zoom All the Fit, zoom sheet size, and, and you can try these in the different conditions and until you can get your view zoomed in or zoomed out the way you want it to. But for the most part, I just use the wheel in order to be able to zoom in or be able to zoom out. One other thing that you should know though, is if you select on an object, for instance, maybe you wanted to zoom in just on this corner of the building, you can do that. So you can select on an object, and if you wanna zoom in on it, you can move up to this thing called the view cube. Then by clicking on an edge of the view cube, in this case, I'm going to pick on the upper corner of it. It's going to take me to that edge of the view cube, which is also going to zoom in at that same angle on the building. So let me go ahead and do that again. I'm just going to use my wheel mouse and just roll back. I'm going to select on something. Then I'm going to select on a corner of the cube. It's going to allow us to look at our model from the same direction as the corner of the cube. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And you can see how we just zoom right in on that object that we have selected. One last thing to know is if you don't have anything selected and then you decide to select on either an edge or a corner of the view cube, it'll automatically try to zoom you out to full extent so you can see your entire model. Now this works inside of plan views, 3D views, whatever the case may be, whenever we're dealing with these zoom tools over here on the side or by using the wheel. But if you're inside of a plan view, and I'm just gonna double click on first floor here so we can see it, you notice that the view cube goes away because the view cube only works in three dimensional views. So by doing these things, zooming in and out, as well as investigating our model, is a fairly easy process to master.